Hello, beta testers. Smashy, smashy, smash, smash! I'm a professor of setting stuff on fire! You burn now, grass. No one will mow you ever again! The consensus on Gotham Knight seems to be, everything that people see of it makes them want it less, and with writing as bad as this, can you blame them? Bad writing ain't the only problem, though. The average temperature of something lights on fire is between 424 and 475. You see how this henchman snaps into a pose to receive the takedown from Batgirl? That's a lack of polish, and I wish it stopped there. One of the major issues that many had with the clunky and slow-looking combat in previous Gotham Knight showcases was how few enemy combatants there actually were. Four people is a joke, especially compared to what the decade-old Arkham games had to offer. And in a game like this, where co-op is marketed as a selling point, surely these developers understand that they need to impress. Instead, we have four enemy combatants present, and some are A-posing in the corner. I can already hear Shill slurping in my direction saying, It's an early build of the game. It's just a beta. But look how close we are. And again... It's just four enemies, and one of them is A-posing? This game is running on Unreal Engine 4, and artists and creators that you know have access to and showcase assets much more sophisticated than this. So I'm forced to wonder why the developer imposed such bizarre limitations on themselves. They removed the, the blueprint of what was satisfying combat for people who had loved the Arkham games uh, for this clunky jank that some indie developers can avoid. I, I, I want to give this the benefit of the doubt, but this is what they're putting out and this is what they want people to see. With showcase after showcase, these inferior choices have earned scrutiny from the players. So I'm not alone when it comes to going, I don't know. I may want to wait. I may need to hear more. I may need to see more. I, I want to address some of the good things that I see and I like. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but it is my belief that from an objective standpoint, Barbara is very pretty. She has a great body that falls in line with many of the girls that I know who dance, uh, row, play soccer, volleyball, etc. It's lovely no and forward thinking, in my opinion, if this game's intent is to sell skins down the road, to give something that fans will appreciate and cosmetic enthusiasts will more than love. The only severe issue that I definitely have is with the extremely stiff walking animations and I'm trying my best to reserve judgment, like I said, until release, but you put this out there. You put this out here, and this will pepper players' uh, expectations. I wish to include a video where I previously spoke about rigid, rod-up-the-ass walking animations in a terrible game that people, you, you don't want comparing you to, Marvel's Avengers. Why don't the heroes in this Marvel game have a good strut? Surely the mocap artists would have heroic and sexy posture and grace locked down if they mocap him for a superhero game, so I have to believe that somebody working for Crystal Dynamics directed them to walk like they have rods up their ass. How are you a superhero with a lame walk instead of a badass strut. Down to the walk isn't super heroic. It doesn't have confidence or the up their own ass grace of someone feeling themselves. That's what IGN means when they say swagger. And swagger is not confined to any one race. But you stole that from these heroes. <laughs> For the record, I do not see this as anywhere near as awful as Marvel's Avengers. That game is still crippled by bugs and glitches, crashes, literally in impossible to complete missions, 
two full years after release. Robin may look like a pipsqueak, but he, all of them, they look like the Bat Family. And I guess that's a lot to ask for these days, so I guess credit where credit is due. I want to include comments that I've come across um, in the interest of spotlighting agreed on sentiments within the community because sensitive YouTube and Twitter are really trying to censor and silence people's ability to give feedback. But the real ones within the community should do their work to spotlight what others are making great efforts to hide and ignore. That should be, you know, a, a, a bare minimum for some of the people that people are holding up, you know. Fuck me. Looks solid. Dialogue could be a little better, in my opinion. <laughs> I agree. One thing I'm not super thrilled about is how the characters face the direction that they dodge towards, rather than looking at the enemy. Since it's more RPG, a lock-on feature would be the easiest way to correct it, and it would fit right in. Just food for thought. Maybe we will have a Deathstroke fight that isn't a tank battle? Isn't. Is not. Huh? Anyone else think the dialogue was a little awkward and the gameplay was a little disjointed? Still looks awesome. So you haven't lost this guy. <laughs> He's like, man. Kind of miss the counter system. Dodging around as the only way to defend is kind of disappointing. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. I'm, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to shut the hell up, though. Man, whoever designed Batgirl's cape length knew exactly what they were doing. I disagree. It's a little too long. A little too long, man. What are you doing? You know? Look at look at the footage I got in the back here. Come on. Oh. But your walk animation is like, ooh, I'm looking for a bathroom. Ooh, can somebody please? Somebody please help Batgirl find a bathroom. The Bat family done to, to ate a bunch of burritos. Is that the kind of writing you're going to put in your game? You know? Whoa, man. <laughs> Burn grass. So such an easy weed joke you could have put in there. These are like these are like thug henchmen, and they're out here, you know, with that quirky Zoomer dialogue. Please stop. Don't do it. You know, I mean, Arkham City was a teen game, and look at the cakes on on Poison Ivy here. Uh, Fortnite running a teen game. Why why are you going? Woo! Oh, big bad buster. You burn now, grass. No one will mow you ever again. Boo, who wrote that? Boo, get this motherfucker, get him out here. Boo, y'all got some tar? <laughs> if you had a deep appreciation inside your body for this video, write me a letter about it in the comment section below. Or find the links and buy this game for me. It's just $60. I mean, we're, we're expected to just throw that away these days. You know what I mean? For a re remake of a game. Okay. You know, it's the dream, isn't it? Playing this, but not paying for it. I'll see you guys later. Mm.